what am I gonna say? I forgot. Restart. Hey guys, this is Lily Simply, and I am back with my May Hits and Misses video. Um, I know last month I was a huge procrastinator, and I didn't even post that video until like two weeks down the road. And people are like, well, it's better late than never, you know? <laughs> but I am going to make sure that I am on time for this month. Um, and if I'm not, then... YOLO. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, don't kill me. I hate that word. This month I made sure to include the misses because last month obviously my misses for that hits and misses video is me missing the misses for that miss video. If that makes sense. So none of the stuff that I will ever be mentioning in my hits and misses video will ever be sponsored. I won't be compensated to say certain things because that's just not fair for you guys. All of this will be my honest opinion about these products and everything that I will be talking about will be in the down bar um, in order. And this is including what I'm wearing, my jewelry. And so if you'd like some more hits and misses videos and think they're really helpful, please do thumbs up this video and let's get started. So the first product that I wanted to show you guys is the Garnier Nutritionist Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. I don't know how to describe it but it smells very clean. It smells like fresh fruit and plants and um, not only that it's got a really really slick consistency feels like you're rubbing water basically on your face because it's so thin and after it dries you don't even know that it's on there. A lot of the creams I use is pretty lightweight but this is the most lightweight I guess like I, I can't even feel like it's on my face and it definitely locks in the moisture. I always always apply creams right after I wash my face because it just locks in the moisture that way and I I wear this I mean it's fine to wear underneath your makeup and everything and just alone and it gives you this really really nice glow I guess I don't know I'll probably continue to use this for the rest of the summer and then switch back to the thicker creams in the winter when my skin is like in more need of moisture I guess but this is great for summer because it's very lightweight and you can't even feel like it's on and the next product that I wanted to show you is by L'Oreal and it's called the Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer and um, I don't use this as a primer I guess it's I use it as a highlighter and you wear this under or mixed with foundation for a soft light illusion and you highlight specific areas of your face and I use this mainly for highlighting I take just a little dab of this and just do this circular motion on my cheekbones here and if you notice I've my cheekbones are definitely a lot more like illuminated I guess I mean that's all I put like just a little bit on my cheekbone area and this bridge of my nose here and it really really makes a difference I don't even have to contour my face that much it really brings up my cheekbones which is perfect because I've been looking for a long time for a product like this really really nice dewy glow but not oily um, if you guys are, have any highlighters in mind to recommend me because I'm still on the search I mean I like this but if you think if you've tried this and you found something better, please do let me know. The next product that I wanted to talk to you guys about is this bronze booster. It's by Physicians Formula. I am sold. This is the best bronzer I've used in my entire life. It pops open like this and after that there's a mirror inside. I don't want to blind you guys, but there's a mirror inside and a powder brush comes with it. I love this powder brush. Um, I still don't get why they have this weird groove. I'm using the Bronze Booster Light to Medium. It smells like sunflowers. I don't like the smell of sunflowers. I think this is what's... I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this smells like sunflowers. I, don't, I just don't like... I just don't like it. Or daisies or something. It smells like this... I, it just smells like a flower that I don't like that regular baby smell that they always put in those baby diapers and no I do not sniff baby diapers you know it's just like I babysat I'm not even gonna explain myself but I do not sniff baby diapers and then these lovely cuties um, it's by Maybelline they're called the dream bouncy blush 
and it's a cream based blush and they are really pigmented but sheer enough to give you a very very natural pinkish whatever glow um, today I use the candy coral type of cream moussey feeling it's it's really silky and it blends very very nicely I just use I just do this and then just do that on top of the highlighter and bronzer and it gives a really really nice corally glow without too much blush on and this is a more pinkish not really corally it's called rose petal and this is called candy coral and I recommend them both. Um, this especially for Asian skin tones. You know, we have the olivey yellow skin tones. And I really recommend this to you guys. And this works just fine. It's more of a deep mauve. So it's not like super pink. And that's why I love them. I mean, this one looks like way too bright. But on your on like our olivey yellow skin tone, it actually looks very natural. And it gives you this really, really nice color. These I can wear for a really long time and they don't fade or anything, so I do love them. And they're very, very affordable, though the packaging is very cheap, I think. I mean, it gets the job done, so I'm not complaining, plus it's very cheap. I'm really lazy in the summer, well, lazy during the school year, and I've just been looking for the solution to help with my laziness. And, like, seriously, I cannot find... A dry shampoo to save my life and it's called the Chesame Fresh Start Dry Shampoo for oily straight to normal hair it's waterless oil and odor remover with mineral clay and citrus no 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 it does not remove oil it actually if you spray it on it actually makes your hair even clumpier it makes it really really flattens down your hair and it gives you this really greasy feeling like it feels, after you spray this on, on top of your dirty hair, um, and, I mean, my, my hair was only a day old, and I sprayed this on, and it felt like it added five days on top of my one day old hair. I mean, it, I mean, it felt just absolutely disgusting. It's like, I didn't even want to touch my hair. Disgusting. And it smelled like chemicals. I used this once, and I left it there. And then I tried it again because I was like, maybe we can make this work. Sorry. Hello? Sorry, that was Tilia. But I had to pick that up because she hasn't been home forever because she's been gone. And I miss her. Okay, moving on. Back to this terrible liar. Don't ever buy this in your life. I mean, if it works for you, good for you, but this is just so disappointing and such a waste of money. Okay, so the next disappointment, I guess, is this nail polish. I'm actually wearing it right now on my nails, but this took a lot of work, my friends. This took a lot of work. This is L'Oreal's is a new nail polish line, I guess. It's called it's in number 240, How Romantic. And when I saw this color, I instantly fell in love. I was like, this is such a beautiful color. This was about three and a half layers of this polish. Three and a half layers. The packaging is pretty cute. Gotta give it that. But it, the brush is just really, really crappy. Um, this brush is just not good. It leaves a bunch of streaks. And this is just, just one coat. Is just like one coat it gave you this really really streaky texture it was just streaks and streaks and it was just really sad because I really tried to make it work and I had to keep layering it on over and over the streaks and um, it was just a lot of work to get this a lot of work man this is a lot this is a bit darker I guess compared to this and it's called um, Sally Hansen's insta dry fast dry nail color and it's in number 150 Petal Pusher, and if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my picture, you know, my hand modeling with this bottle. Um, and I am absolutely in love with this. I love Sally Hansen polishes. I've always loved them. And the, the brush for this, it's just the smoothest application ever. And the next thing that I wanted to show you, I guess, is an accessory. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, again, you would already see this. And it is this watch. I mean, well, I haven't set it on yet, but it's this watch. 
It's by New York and Company. It's a really, really lovely rose gold watch, and it's just my favorite watch right now at the moment. And I bought it when I was shopping for um, Mother's Day gifts and stuff, and um, my boyfriend's mom's birthday. And I saw this in New York and Company, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it was originally $34.95, but I got it for 40% off because the um, store had some sale deal which was awesome because um, I would have bought this for $34.95 seriously um, it's very nice very high quality and it's it's technically called a boyfriend watch but look at this lovely rose gold um they also came in I they it also came in a silver but I just did not like the silver as much as a, um, the rose gold I love everything about this watch there's no complaints about this watch it's just lovely on Instagram a few of my uh, followers thought that this was a Michael Kors watch and I'm like no nah, nah man it's way cheaper <laughs> which is awesome because I feel like this is a steal so that is that Alright, this is Lily Simply. That is it for my Hits and Misses video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please do thumbs up this video, check out my other videos, and subscribe!